The 2021 Van Beckham Award goes to Professor Aeolia Brisso for new research looking into the impact of post-transplantation cyclophosphamide after RIC regimen allo HCT. Professor Brisso, why was it important to look more at the impact that PTCI could have in these patients? A GBHD still remains a um, challenging task in bone marrow transplantation. And we know that ATG has been approved for much unrelated donor. Um, in our practice, the RIC regimen, uh, the most widely used, is fludarabine busulfan with ATG in prophylaxis of GVHD. But ATG um, has a cost of toxicity and immunosuppression. And the last 10 years, PTCI has been developed in the haploidentical bone marrow transplantation. And we know that PTCI is able to reduce acute and chronic GVHD. So uh, we thought it was really important to see if PTCI could, do, could replace or what was the impact of PTCI in the setting of fludarabine busulfan in this uh, patient. And we didn't have um, prospective data. So uh, it was an uh, important uh, study to run to answer this question. So how extensive was the study that you ran looking into this? So this is a phase two randomized prospective study. And so um, patient received fludarabine busulfan with two days of busulfan, and they were randomized to a one-to-one -one ratio, either to um, receive uh, ATG or either to receive PTCI. And we had almost 40 patients in each arms. And at the end, um, the, the outcome in the two arms were comparable. So uh, it is an important data and result to see that PTCI and ATG finally uh, give the same outcomes for the patient. And we didn't see more viral reactivation with ATG than with PTCI, so it is an important data. However, we have to uh, still know that it is a, a phase two study. So what do the results tell us and what does that mean for treating these patients? So the, the results show that uh, patient who received a 10 out of 10 match related or unrelated donor who received either PTCI or ATG have comparable um, outcome. So we can conclude that PTCI and ATG can be used both in this setting. So what's next for this research then? How are you going to take it beyond phase two? First, it is um, what we presented at the EBMT meeting is the first analysis of this phase two, so we have to complete it uh, with all the results. And after, we will have to decide if it will be important to, f to run a phase three study to have more um, consistent um, data.